So we're going to Casa Loma today uh, just to go check it out. So just uh, stay with us. But for now, check out the beautiful skyline of Toronto in the beautiful Saturday afternoon. Showcasing Canada to the world. Wow. It's beautiful, man. Just to give you an idea, this castle actually contains 98 bedrooms. 98 bedrooms and the square footage is almost 65,000 square footage. Uh, here was actually the terrace. Beautiful day at the Casa Roma. and families after 23 years of staying away from here finally I'm at the beautiful Casa Loma and Casa Loma is actually located in downtown Toronto and this building is very 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 special it actually took three years to build this building or castle or mansion whatever you want to call it it started from 1911 to 1914 to build this and it took about 300 men to construct this project and this project here, it was cost about 3.5 million at the time to build this uh, project. And now the estimation value is between 80 to 100 million in 2020. So you can see the magnificence. And as you can see, all the cars coming here, they're actually coming to see this beautiful castle that you see behind me. So uh, finally, I'm making my way inside the Casa Loma the beautiful mansion located in Toronto. And here is the actual main front. And you can see the architect behind this building. And why is this such a significant milestone or a cornerstone in Toronto? So this is leading to the entrance of the building. Okay, so finally I'm at the door and we're gonna actually go inside the castle. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. So this is the entrance to the castle and you can see the wooden panel and uh, the magnificent behind me. So we're going to be taking you inside to show you what is inside the building. But one thing that I can tell you is that this is a three-story building and also you have a basement. And there's been a lot of movies and also television series that has been showcased in this castle. And we're gonna be taking you step by step to show you all the different areas and the amenities this building has to offer you. So here we are at the main floor or the main lobby of the Casa Loma. And you could see the beautiful panels and pantry. And you also have families, children and adults actually taking a stroll through the hallway and I'm gonna move the camera around to give you a 360 view of the entire main floor. And you can see that you have a beautiful piano ahead of me with a nice backdrop. This ceiling is about, I would say if I'm not guessing, about 100 feet here. So this place that I'm about to take you is very, very special to serve and repel it. Wow! What a 
place. This is magnificent among magnificent. And look at the space, the decoration. Even check out the ceiling. What a wonderful place. So all this area here is part of the conservatory and it shows you the beautiness and the love and affection for gardening as demonstrated by Sir Henry Pellet. And in the winter months, teas were served here for the families and friends of the late Sir Henry Pellet. And he spent some quiet some time here. And you can see that it's highly, 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 highly decorated and highly invested in. Just wanted to show you this side. Yeah, so here we are actually entering the oak room. This is actually the oak room. And the oak room was located in the main floor of the building. And this is where guests were entertained, where dinners were served, and where all the friends of activities took place. This place was actually dearly to Sir Henry Pellet's family. It was dearly to his heart. And a lot of guests came through very famous individuals including presidents and delegates. They spent some quiet time in this area that you see here. And it's really, really, really magnificent. The wooden panels that you see on the walls, it actually took three years just to carve these wooden pallets on the walls. And it took a lot of workmanship to really, really, really finish this artisan design. And on the wall, you see the young Queen Elizabeth picture displaying for the guests to see. So this is the oak room and is the centerpiece of the house. So here is actually the library and I'm gonna take you through. This is the library and the bookshelf and you can see that it's quite a very beautiful open space highly decorated with all kinds of furniture, chandeliers beautiful chairs and even the hardwood quite a significant library where sir henry pellet spent some time reading books reflecting and reminiscing. So here, we're actually gonna go on the second floor right now. Uh, we just finished touring the first floor and we're gonna be going to the second floor where the pellets, you see their bedrooms and uh, some of the areas where they spend quite a bit of time. So uh, the staircase is a hardwood and you can see uh, how it's well, really, really maintained and how is well decorated so we're going to be showing you all these areas so here is actually the second floor of the building and here we are the hallway and we're going to be taking you to all the different rooms on the second floor uh, to show you where sir henry pellet slept and when he spent quite a bit of his time in this mansion so quite magnificent and this place that we are entering is quite unique and it's unique for several reasons because this place is where actually Sir Henry Pellet spent his time. This was actually his own end suite or his actually his bedroom and the bed that you see right here is actually a bed where he slept on. It looks a little bit smaller but the room was specially decorated and constructed for him for his leisure. Uh, the room also has a balcony leading to the main hall and floor 
So if there is any parties or any events, he can actually stay here and look over the guest through the balcony. So just wanted to also bring you and show how Sir Harry Pellet also spent his time in the night and how he enjoyed himself. This is Sir Harry Pellet's and suit and his washroom and even it goes to tell you that even as early in the 1920s or in the 1900s they still have these magnificent uh, tubs and also the toilet bowls the marble and all the amenities that today we enjoy in the 21st century all this was available to Sir and the pellets in his ensuit. So another special important area of the house I'm gonna be taking you to. And this place is no other than Sir Henry Pellet's wife's room. And you see the bed and the beautiful magnificent area in the bedroom so this is where she spent quite a bit of time and it was actually built for her to entertain guests families and friends this room is actually bigger than the husband's room and it comes with an end suit and makeup area and a beautiful 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 high ceiling as you can see and the room keeps going and this whole area here was more of a sitting area this area here is more of a sitting area where she enjoys some quiet time here and you can see the space was actually magnificent and she used this place to entertain guests and as the camera moved to this area you can see that it has a very big open space where guests can sit where wine, coffee, dinner, breakfast can also be served to engage the guest that has visited the house. So this was the private end suit of Sir Henry Pellet's wife. And it's very similar to the one the husband has. Check out the beautiful marble, the bathtub, the sink, and also there's a little chair beside it where you can actually sit there in case you get tired and this room here is actually the dressing room and you can see lady pellet's dress in the mirror and some of the collections that she has over time so where we are entering right now is actually called the windsor room so this beautiful room that you see here was actually constructed for the royals of england by Sir Henry Pellet, and the idea was that if the Royals comes in town to Canada, they can actually stay here and spend some quiet time here. This room was actually highly unique and it dates back to the 19th century and it's elaborated with a carved and a glittered frame and the four post of the bed was carved sherubs and dolphins ancient Roman symbol for the goddess of love Venice. The 19th century Gothic frame set of the three uh, chairs reflect the element of Louis V style. Uh, this room here is actually the bridal suit and this place is also rented for weddings and other events. So if you are renting this place for your beautiful day, this is where the bridal stay to get herself ready for action of the day and it's well decorated and as the camera moves there's also another area here room with a bed and some furniture is where the bride can also use for the occasion so we have finished the tour of the second floor and now we are gonna go to the third floor to also showcase you what is on the third floor so stay with us yeah. here is the third floor and the third floor is mainly dedicated for the arts and you can see all this classic arts 
over the years displaying on the wall ranging from queens, kings, military personnel, and this is where the pellets show the affections and love for art. And the whole entire third floor is dedicated for the service of arts. This room here is the Queen's own rifle uh, and it contains some of the items that they use in the World War I and World War II. So it's just a collection of items over the years that has been displayed here and you can see encased in this glass is some of the soldiers' attires and some of the items that they use during World War I and World War II. In front of me is the serving room. Check out another room, which is called the round room. Here we are entering the Austin room. This room that you see here is actually the guest suite. So this room here is the Edwardian business office. Over here we are entering the garden of the Henry Pellets. It's actually a big area and it has a lot of different plants, trees, oysters, any plant or tree you can name of. And this is where the pellets also spend some time, especially in the summertime, uh, because it's very cold, or I would say more cozy here. So they spend quite a significant amount of time in here. And this is also part of the building. And one of the amenities where big weddings are taking place, people actually come here and take pictures and other things with your guests. Uh, another location, in the building also is a beautiful terrace and then here is where most weddings, anniversaries, birthdays takes place. It's an open area and it's decorated with a bunch of flowers, a bunch of trees and plants. It has a swimming pool right behind me and it's quite an open area where it can host quite a amount of guests and even at the front you can actually see the CN Tower. Here is a place where they rent for people that are actually celebrating their anniversaries and other things. So it's also part of the places where the pellets actually enjoy some time, especially in the summer, with the barbecue, hosting guests, and so forth. So here I am. I have a beautiful friend that I just met today, sir. You want to introduce yourself and what brought you to Casaloma? I go by Chat B on Instagram, Chat B on Facebook as well. Okay. The reason why I came to Casaloma is for the history, actually. The history of Casaloma. So I. Been in, I was born in Canada, okay. right? but I never knew that there was any historical buildings inside of Canada, so Ontario actually. Okay. So I did my research on the internet, right? and you know, passing on something like this, and I'm like, yo, they made movies here. They like, made you movies, know, yeah, yeah. Movies, yeah. they did a bunch of stuff, they have a nice restaurant. Yeah. Like, you know, so I had to pull in and check out. You know why not? You're, you're teed up, man. 416. Go, why man. not check it out, man, bro? Thank go. you very you much for the time, man. though. You already know, right, man. man. This guy's lit. <laughs> you, know, you already know what it okay, is. Okay, bro.